Hurricane Irma's strong winds could down power lines across the Carolinas, including the upstate. Power companies are watching the storm closely and getting ready to respond. We continue tonight's storm coverage with 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith. She's standing by with more details. Nikkel. Well, Tom, in addition to the work that these power companies are planning for, they're also asking customers to do their part, too. We take tropical weather of any kind very seriously. A serious storm being closely watched by power companies like Duke Energy. It's going to bring, bring a lot of wind, it's going to bring a lot of rain, and it's going to bring a lot of damage to electrical systems. Spokesman Ryan Mosier says the company is making plans. Equipment, uh, supplies. And getting the necessary tools in order. Making sure that we have everything that we at least need to get started with any kind of storm recovery. It's a similar mentality for Greer Commission of Public Works. Crews are just preparing their trucks and equipment. Public Information Coordinator Allison Rauch says they're taking steps to be prepared. Just to determine what all we have and what we could use in the event of a large storm that comes and knocks out power to our area. As for the people working after the storm. Uh, our folks are in place across the Carolinas at their operations centers. Mosher says Duke Energy is scheduling their crews. And they're also getting their families ready for what could be uh, folks away from home for an extended period of time. During that time, both utilities are asking customers to prepare too. In the event that we have to call people about an emergency, update their contact phone number with us. Make sure your family's ready. Make sure you have the supplies you need for multiple days without power. Both Duke Energy and Greer CPW also want customers to pay attention to their social media pages where they say they'll be sending updates as well, Tom. All right, Nikkel, thank you for that. Utilities also advise writing down phone numbers for your power company and keeping your devices charged. And remember to stay away from downed power lines. Keep in mind trees or limbs can be energized too.